Chloe Jean Brower was born on August 24, 2011. She was born with bilateral profound hearing loss. Those first few months are really a blur to me because, you know, <laughs> your dream that you had of your child was broken. She's never going to hear my voice. She's never going to hear her sister sing the lullabies to her. And I would say we felt a little helpless and a little unprepared. You know, when any child's born, you try to prepare yourself as far as what, you know, the possible things that could go wrong. And, and hearing loss for us anyway never really even crossed our mind, and I think it doesn't for a lot of people. You're crushed for a while, and then you, you, re, you, know, you regroup, and you rely on your family and your faith, and you, you work through the process. What can I do to improve this? They saw a whole team of us. We sat down, we talked about her. Um, she's, in many respects, an ideal candidate. Identified early, getting implanted early, great family. That's really, really important. There was a concern that the hearing nerve wasn't even there. When we got the news that the hearing nerve was present and everything looked good, was a very, very big day. Um, yeah, we, we feel a lot better after that. We can do this. There is hope. We want the best for her and this is what it takes for her to thrive and that's what should be done. When she first heard her first sound, you know, and turned to a sound of a bell, we were kind of figured we were gonna be a wreck. I don't know, we were so happy we didn't even cry, if that makes sense. It happened so quick. It, was, it wasn't was until later that evening when we got to the hotel room that I just had tears. Chloe, 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 over here. Ba, 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 ba. This is why it's worth it, and this is why we're doing this. <laughs> and she's now starting to babble, uh, and that's important because she's uh, hearing her own voice. She's doing more than what we expected at this time. With her first CI, I can't imagine what the second CI is going to bring. Here we go, Chloe. As surgeons, our job is to get the implant in without complications and uh, to make sure that we get a full uh, electrode insertion. Yeah, the full insertion. Great. There are no complications and uh, really nice bumps on everything. So she should do great. Good. It does sort of, I feel, set us aside as a center of excellence. We have a lot of expertise on the team. Um, we've had a lot of success stories that we can look back on and uh, you know, reflect on you know, what are the good things that we've done, how many people have we helped. It's particularly rewarding for me that they're the 500th because uh, they're very special people. And in essence, we determine a prescription for how the device needs to be set, similar to what someone would do for eyeglasses or for a hearing aid, because everyone is different. So with very young children like Chloe, we can do some measurements that look at, well, how does her nerve respond when we send an electrical signal through the cochlear implant? And we can use that pattern of responses that we get from her to give us some initial settings for the device. As the brain becomes accustomed to it, um, that map changes. And the audiologists work pretty frequently uh, after the initial hookup. Uh, and then there's a lot of work that the families have to do with the patient. We have to train her to listen to those sounds and her brain has to think and translate those sounds into speech. Listen, listen. Uh... They get cues from the team, they get cues from speech pathology on what to work at. I think without the team concept, this thing is a lot harder. They all work together, they collaborate, they have team meetings. I mean, you are their focus. The whole team will be involved with her uh, for several years to come, uh, following her, making sure that she's progressing. And I anticipate she's going to do just great. It's not easy. 
It's a tough road. You know, the easy job was getting to that first day of surgery. And now it's working with her, making sure her home is a is sound environment for her. What I would say to Dr. Lusk, his nurse Christy, um, the CI team that we're work with, working with, Jacqueline, the speech Julianne, is I owe you everything. My dream has come true. And that's because of them.